What up, y'all? It's your boy Quest, and this is your marriage moment. <laughs> Let's go. What up, y'all? What up, y'all? What up, y'all? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Quest, man. Welcome to another marriage moments. Yes, indeed, man. First and foremost, man, let me just shout out, you know what I'm saying, Kayla and Jorge and one of my favorite couples, um, for real, Camille King, Jamal King, who were with us last night on our latest episode of The Good, The Bad, The Sexy. Um, like, for real. Um, and, oh, I can't forget my lovely wife, my lovely bride, you know what I'm saying, Faith. Um, yeah, man, let me just jump into it. I want to thank... Uh, them last night for dropping some serious gems. Um, last night we talked about his five pillars or what would be the equivalent to my core values. And his basic five pillars were uh, faith, family, finances, fitness, and freedom, right? So he makes all of his decisions according to those five pillars, right? But I think the thing that stood out or one of the things that stood out to me the most was Camille's ability to rest assured in her husband's decisions, right? And so I think that's the thing that I want to talk to today. So wives, usually I speak to the relationship, but today I want to speak to the husband specifically. And I want to speak to us and our ability to make decisions, right? And so I realized that sometimes as men, we never want to be wrong, right? Um, because if we're wrong, then it means that we failed, right? And if we failed, then that means that we're less of a man. And that couldn't be any more further from the truth, right? One of the things that we need to do as husbands, as leaders of the family, as heads of the household, right, is to be able to make decisions. It's crazy because sometimes we put so much weight on making the right decision to the point that we never make a decision at all, right? And it's not so much about being right or wrong, it's about the ability to be able to make a decision, right? Here's the funny thing. Have you ever been to a restaurant with a friend who couldn't choose what they wanted on the menu, right? Their first ask a question is, well, what are you having, right? And before the, the what are you having question turns into calling the server over and asking them a million and one questions about what's in each meal, right? And to the point where they have to ask the server, well, you pick something for me, right? At that point, it doesn't become an indecisive issue anymore. It becomes a character issue, right? What I've realized about making decisions is that it takes courage to make a decision, right? And it takes that, it's that same courage that it takes to make a decision that courage also makes a man. Not being right or wrong, but the courage to make a decision whether you're right or wrong. That takes a man. Why? Because in order to make decisions, if you can't make decisions or you're indecisive, you can't lead anybody, you can't accomplish anything, you can't pave any roads. So it's very important that we're able to make a decision, right? For those men that just experience that inability to make a decision, being able to pull the trigger, if you will, it blocks your journey from boyhood to manhood. I'm going to say that one more time. A male's inability to make a decision blocks his journey from boyhood to manhood. So in other words, we have to be able to make a decision, right? I want to say this guy to you today. You are the leader of a family. Your wife needs to be able to be rest assured, even if she doesn't agree with your decision, that you have the ability to make a decision. Why? Because when you make decisions, you can lead people, you can pave roads, even if they're the wrong decisions, right? The most important thing is to learn from the decision if it's a wrong decision, right? make an adjustment, make the right decision and keep moving. But when you have an inability to make a decision, it keeps you in the area of boyhood. Why? Because you don't want to face the difficulties or challenges that come along with making a bad decision, right? In other words, there's no growth because growth is synonymous with difficulty and challenge. And when you don't want to make a decision, you don't want to face the difficulties or challenges that can come along with making the wrong decision. But let me say this, point blank period, men make decisions. I'm gonna say it one more time, point blank period, men make decisions, right? So you want to be able for your wife to trust in you. 
to make a decision, right? And I watched Camille last night, rest assured in her, in the fact that her husband was a visionary. And even if he made that Jamal was a visionary, and even if he made a wrong decision, she rest assured in the fact that he could make decisions. And truth be told, the majority of his decisions were good ones. So I'm just saying to you guys today, pick a lane, pick a side, pick a color, choose a partner, a cause. Your decisions will define your character. Not whether you were right or wrong, but your ability to make a decision. So do me a favor, guys, like for real, be the man that you were called to be. And if you're wrong, it's easy. Just say you were wrong, make an adjustment, and then move forward in your decision. Y'all know what I always say. Husbands from shaky to good, from good to great. Ultimately, we want marriages that are phenomenal, but phenomenal don't just happen, right? It takes work. Men, husbands, specifically on being able to make a decision. Y'all know what I always say. Let's make the rest of our marriage the best of our marriage. Go ahead, make a decision. What up y'all, it's your boy Quest, man. If you like the information in this video and you know somebody could might be able to use it, do me a favor, comment in the section below, like, and more importantly, subscribe. If you wanna connect with me on Instagram, my link's over to the right. All right, peace.